इनवेस्टमेंटल so first the very important thing never ignore never ignore the comments commenting side because examiner mentioned that sometimes the students ignore the commenting of the final answer here for example in pb negative you it's not possible just to leave the question from uh, just to leave the question here the question is not complete until unless you have to make some comment here so don't forget to make commenting the requirement here says evaluate evaluate means analysis with the calculation and make a final conclusion with a description so first thing not to ignore number 2 the rule of the final final comments two things you must have to remember that whenever you are making a final comments number 1 always start with facts start with facts means this is what about the facts npv negative that's a fact npv positive if the npv positive that is a fact so always start with the facts based on these facts project should not be acceptable the blunt statement start with facts here the blunt statement but number 2 the final comment having some diplomacy like the word like the word start with hi ever that's very important so i'm now going to put the final comment here for example i am going to start the fix the project has a negative npv minus 2.235 million so on the basis of the calculation project should not be undertaken the first point sir the very important point sir is it is it possible or is it advisable to make description in the spreadsheet examiner allows if you make just a limited description you can make here otherwise you can mention on the spreadsheet no worries about it but these type of little little description you can mention here no worries but not the details for example it's not justified that you have to attend the section b with the excel sheet or the spreadsheet but the first statement is start with facts but number 2 the final comments you have to mention the word however the appraisal 
However, the appraisal is based on the available information and subject to the limitation limitation and assumptions limitations and assumptions appraisal with reference to this question appraisal with optional valuation like make a reference like this in this question uh, phases wise expansion here the company has a plan for the phases wise expansion phase wise expansion as indicated in the question may impact the decision so that is the point so number one always start with the facts and make some diplomacy with the answer because if you mention first that reject the project but you have to take some uh, because don't take all the responsibility on your shoulders because all these working having subject to limitations assumptions and other things may incorporate as well so this is what how to write the comment here sir if i if we consider that okay finally that's all covered the question the number one the very important thing 12 marks here we are attempting plus three marks we are here to, we have, plus 12 plus three total 15 marks we have attempted including professional skill marks sir with this part of the question if we work all these things so how can we say that we have covered how can we say that we have covered the analysis part sorry the professional skill parts here if you consider that how we incorporate the professional skill marks Number one, analysis. For example, analysis. And evaluation. If I say something about analysis and evaluation here. So, the very important thing, if you consider that, yes for example yes if we consider this point analysis and evaluation so number one the first thing is that right side use of data to determine suitable calculation so use of data from the question to determine suitable calculation that's we have done it one by one that's we have done then we have used the data to support discussion and draw appropriate conclusion 
So these two things we have done. First, the calculation part determines suitable calculation. Number two, use the fix. Here the conclusion. Use the fix and make an appropriate conclusion. And simultaneously, something about the evaluation. Evaluation means make a final comment. Yes or no, based on sub justification. The justification is here. We make a final comment that <clears throat> the project should not be accepted or rejected because negative NPV. Reason judgment. We mention here the judgment here. That's the second paragraph. We mentioned that we have taken some. Uh, we have taken plea or we have mentioned that the information is based on uh, the final decision having subject to some limitation and assumptions. So these are some analysis and evaluation point. Sir, how we have incorporated the skepticism? <laughs> there are four components of skepticism. Number one, if you mention within the question, within the question the challenge, uh, sorry, if you challenge the technique within the question, that is called skepticism. If you challenge the information within the question, that is skepticism. If you identify some missing or incorporate some additional factor, that is skepticism. If you challenge some mention opinion in the question that's a skepticism but not necessarily that all the things of skepticism and analysis you need to incorporate here if i say that if i mention the limitation and assumption so actually i have incorporated the skepticism point if i incorporated something option here i mentioned that you need to consider the option valuation as well. So that means you have incorporated some additional point, additional point. Do remember with the question, you have to incorporate some additional point, but considering the marks that whatever you are right, according to the marks management and the time management as well, and be relevant, relevant to the question. If here I am mentioning something about option, a little bit about option, although it's not the part A, but relevant to the question, that's a key point. So we have incorporated something, analysis evaluation based on question aspects, presentation, uh, like it's, analysis also includes the function we have used, the IRR function, NPV shortcut method, labeling of the working all these things number two we have incorporated skepticism skepticism not necessarily that all for example third one is commercial acumen i will discuss the commercial acumen which means be practical having a business sense that is the point i will cover with the second part of the question but this is not necessary that every part having every professional skill marks here. So yes, we have attempted actually 15 marks, 12 marks technical and also consider the three marks of the professional skill marks that affect on calculation and theory as well. That's the point. So candidates, can you please apply me? Is this clear? For this part of the video, first thing is over, that's commenting, and plus how incorporate the professional skill marks points. Can you please apply me? Are you with me? Is this clear to all of you? Even you people are watching the video, if you have any concern, you can coordinate me accordingly. So this is the first thing. Now, I strongly suggest that I strongly suggest that we need to cover, we need to cover here 
the diagnosis of examiner report the diagnosis of examiner report this is what the examiner report and we are diagnosis here some important points diagnosis means here what actually the complaints made by the examiner when the marker markers checking the exam sheets so these are the very important point so if something highlighted with blue highlight or mentioning with blue that's point one that is related to part a and something red red or pink that is about the part b so there are 10 specific points although i have also incorporated these exam report diagnosis about the part a with this uh, document and document that document will be available to you as well don't worry okay but i strongly suggest read from there number one one by one number one Yes. Only the highlighted point relevant here. Candidates for part A, candidates were able to complete all the calculations required of them using the standard approach, standard approach that they should have seen in many previous questions and with which they should have committed to the memory. So what does that mean? You people know very well for example, the method to calculate NPV, the method or structure to calculate NPV, having different variety, with different books, with different answers, two to three structures are available to calculate the NPV. Examiner suggesting to student that you have to opt, you have to opt any one structure and practice the past questions with that structure you don't need to make preparation with multiple structure any one structure you need to opt for example i have used a structure first to calculate the taxable income and then reverse uh, then calculate the tax then reverse that tax depreciation and then incorporate the uh, working capital investment so this is one of the structure so if you used to the structured way of the NPV, the time will save during the exam. Indeed, a good number of students who had done this were able to earn full marks of the calculation in this question. That is the first point. And don't worry, once you will get this uh, document and that includes the, all the things included with the highlighted point. For example, practice with the standard approaches. Number one. Number two. Point number two. During the calculation, the calculation aspect. This is the calculation aspect. The common mistakes. For example, here we calculate the cost of equity, the common mistakes. So be careful. Don't make these mistakes. Very slim mistakes. De-gearing or re-gearing using the wrong debt ratio. Although you have practiced a lot, but it's a highlighted point. When if you were using the proxy company data and we're uh, converting beta equity to beta asset, that's de-gearing, use the debt ratio of the proxy company. But once identify the beta asset, then re-gearing. Then use the existing company, own company. Here the case, here the case of the company name. <clears throat> Failing to diagnose the need to re-gear the financial risk of the Ton Pantua. So this is the highlighted point. Then here the question available the risk premium. Something, sometimes student mix the, is this the risk premium or market return? If the market return, then you need to identify the risk premium. If it's direct risk premium, you can just 
put the value of the risk premium and incorporate RF plus risk premium into beta equity. So be conscious. What is this about? These are the silly mistakes. And don't uh, lose the marks over there. KD, cost of debt. Here, a very challenging, the cost of debt. Really a challenge, a real challenge. The very important thing, there are two steps to work out for the cost of debt. Number one, calculate the value of the bonds and then calculate the KD by IRR. Here, examiner mentioned that's poorly done by the candidates. Why? The reason mentioned here. For example, for bond valuation, each year having different spot rates, year 1, year 2, year 3, year 4. So, for example, for air two spot rate, you need to discount with the uh, with mentioning the number two. I mean, uh, discounting with two years. But the student make made a mist made a mistake here, complaining that's annual rates not using in a proper manner. Then once students calculated the bond value. After bond valuation, what to do to get what to do for the KD? What to do for the KD? That's another challenge. Here, coupon rate is not KD. You need to calculate the KD by IRR. So that's important. And here, examiner particularly mentioned for bond valuation. And it's a conceptual point for bond valuation. It's not possible to use coupon rate as a discounted. Coupon rate is not a discounted. Discounted must be market return or the KD. And then when the student calculating the KD, the very important mistake working with the KD, you must be act with a very intelligent manner and you must be very much sensitive and very much careful how to calculate the IRR. Initially, market value, then interest, interest simple coupon rate into interest, and at the end of the year, last year interest plus redemption, and be careful, redemption at par or premium. Here examiner mentioned, read this, significant number of candidates neglected the premium on redemption or final interest payments and the last point examiner categorically mentioned here candidates who were able to use irr function spreadsheet provide able to complete their calculation quickly accurately and earns the mark quickly that's a time management that's a time management so use the spreadsheet functions you will save the time and you know very well if you are able to save the time through a spreadsheet you will be able to invest that or invest that save time over the theory because theory required more time more challenge here mention all candidates should aim to become confident using a spreadsheet function available to them and save considerable time and greatly reduces the chances of minor calculative errors. That's the point. So, now what about the VAC? Point number four. Examiner complained here. The main error with the VAC, some students lost the tax adjustment, that is KD1 minus T. So, be careful. Whenever calculating the VAC calculation, not to ignore 1 minus T. And after the cal calculation of the complete K, KD, VAC, then NPV. What are the common errors? Basic, very basic common errors are. These are not, this is not the report published by me. This is the examiner report. Number one, in this question, the question mentioned pre-tax profile. Pre-tax profits. Pre-tax profit also adjusts the tax allowable depreciation. Some of the students take out the pre-tax profit and then adjust the tax. Wrong. 
tax already adjusted you need to just calculate the tax and then reverse that's we have done reverse the tax expense with this question student made a mistake the working capital working capital here examiner particularly mentioned with the question as we consider here working capital start of each year also here mentioned working capital of year one but we will inject at the start of year one so some of the students made a mistake year one working capital year one no at year one working capital that required year zero and that's we have already done then working capital will require incremental not the total that's incremental required here the capital investment normally what when a, normally the past papers you attempted the question very used to investment at year zero one two sorry investment always at year zero but it's not compulsory maybe the investment with phases wise as this question so the student made a mistake all the investment at year zero but here the investment year zero one two that is the point five candidates can you please reply me is this relevant for you that we are diagnosing we are diagnosing here the examiner report is this relevant for you is this valuable for you otherwise i'm going to close this video can you please reply me okay thank you very much we need to continue even you are watching the video you must have to reply me accordingly now point number six <clears throat> here it was good to see majority candidates using npv function in the spreadsheet candidates were expected to state negative expect expected to state negative npv means project should be rejected and this will not add to the shareholder wealth as ever some candidates fail to do this fail to do comment and missed out marks as they could have very easily gained you just make a con conclusion with uh, you just uh, concluded answer by npv negative actually you will lose the mark always make a good co good conclusion make a good conclusion as i have, i have already advised to you okay further points and further points these are the advices candidates preparing for this examination should be working pass questions to time time in proper exam condition that means as i have suggested to you with my first session as always exam simulation examiner suggests you have to practice the question with the exam condition they should then be comparing the result with the model answer in order to discover where they have gone wrong number one irrespectively that's the question is right or wrong you have to attempt the questions and very important point the point number eight is very important for your exam practice and the examination hall as well if you if you stuck somewhere always remember one point never stop keep moving keep working for example there are four steps of the calculation you have done step one you have done step two but you stuck with the step three you are lost what is the step three i don't know take any assumption don't stop take any assumption and move on if the third step is become wrong no worries examiner will only deduct the marks of third step 
and then you move to the fourth step even the fourth step is based on the third, third step value no worries because examiner says we here ACC use the rule OFR own figure rule own figure rule own figure rule examiner will take up assumption of the your third wrong value and move on with the fourth step and if your fourth step is right you will get more than appropriate marks let's mention here candidates who got who get stuck at some point in the calculations must not afraid of making assumption and carry on all these points i have highlighted here additional points practice with exam simulation never stop keep moving then now exams are computer based candidates have used of a spreadsheet to assist with the calculation some candidates still doing their calculative calculation without using a spreadsheet and at all waste a lot of time and rarely rarely successful you for example you are working with a calculator you are working with the calculator and put the value on the excel sheet there are two risks here number one actually you are wasting time your time is running out you will be stuck you are not properly managed the time number one number two if something is wrong with the calculator um, for example some casting error and you just put the value in the spreadsheet how examiner will identify you have done wrong there is no steps no procedures you will not receive any email or call mr david how or mr abdullah how you have done this calculation just let us know <laughs> no one but if you make practice with the spreadsheet and you attempted the question with the spreadsheet that's become wrong so step whatever you have followed examiner will definitely check this maybe the maybe due to the reason of the casting error examiner or marker will deduct limited marks but overall you will get more than appropriate marks next best the spreadsheets are useful tool for the candidates but they do mean that some new errors or problems are arising whenever okay if you are good enough for using the spreadsheet but the common mistakes common problems they have identified for the spreadsheet that's a common mistakes for example for example here examiner highlight a point let's suppose this is a question and let's suppose this is not a pre tax profit there's a operating profit and after that i will minus the tax here or oh, sorry minus the tax depreciation then calculate the taxable income and then calculate the tax and after that i have to reverse the tax depreciation for reverse the tax depreciation i need to nullify the value so initially if the tax depreciation minus in a minus figure i have to nullify with the positive figure because tax depreciation has no placement has no place has no placement no working requirement for npv so we have to nullify previously if it's it was minus we have to nullify with the positive so so this type of workings common errors something using the positive negative so you can read then these things what the common error normally students make with the spreadsheet working and be careful about that i have although i have already mentioned with my my document as well plus minus functions too much in one cell for example if there is a lengthy calculation not to incorporate all the things with a one cell 
you can break down the calculation accordingly. So these are the uh, diagnosis of the examiner report that I have discussed with you. You have to be careful once you are practicing the question and once you are attending the question during the exam. So this is what about this part of the video. They will discuss the final comments, the PSM matters and as well the overall examiner report matter, the part A. So thank you very much about this part of the video. Wait for the another part of the video that's where we will discuss the part B of the question. Okay, thank you very much.